So, uh, how are you coping in the Alice Springs heat so far? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been nice and warm, but uh, you know, pretty similar to most of what I've experienced in Australia so far. So, yeah, all good. And I suppose uh, your first game as captain, filling in for Trav, are you going to do much differently or, or keep the pretty similar game plan? No, I think keep things pretty sim uh, simple and similar. Um, you know, Trav's been doing an outstanding job, and you know, the team's been operating really well. So. Um, yeah, hopefully just a smooth transition in, in, in and uh, yeah, like I said, not too many changes. Yeah, and how does the, the team go with uh, replacing a bloke like Travis? Obviously, an extraordinary talent. Do um, you think the, the squad has the depth to, to be able to uh, replace him? Yeah, most definitely. I think uh, obviously it's it's a loss. I mean, Travis, uh, you know, he's world renowned player now and, and, and an international. So um, you know, never easy just to replace a guy like that. But you know, we we back our squad and. Um, you know, whoever steps up, steps up into you know a team that's playing and, and is in a good place. So uh, I think that definitely helps. And you've played. Can we look this way a little bit more? Yeah, thank you. Um, you played a lot of cricket in uh, South Africa and in England. What's what's your thoughts on the Big Bash compared to, to some of those other overseas 2020 comps you played in? Yeah, it's obviously it's just been fantastic to be out here, and um, you know I think uh, the Big Bash on, as a whole is, a, is this great package. I mean, uh, I know people back home in South Africa. You know, wake up 10 o'clock in the morning and can't wait to, you know, sort of holiday season and, and can't wait to see the games on TV. So, um, you know, it's a fantastic package and it's been great to be part of it. And, um, you know, I think the, the standard of the cricket's uh, of the highest quality. So, um, you know, that's really exciting for everyone. And you got a local boy, uh, Jake Weatherald, in the, the spot. Are you trying to milk any local knowledge of the conditions here and, and everything? Yeah, I think the guys obviously played, uh, you know, played the Shield final up here and spent five days up here in, in the heat, so they, they sort of know what it's all about. So it's been, um, you know, we just sort of touched base with, with the guys who were up here and, uh, on what to expect. And playing a really good, strong side like the Perth Scorchers, um, what, what particular tactics do you, do you employ for a, for a good side like that? Yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, I don't think we'd change too much different. They're obviously, a side is in, in good form as well. and. Um, you know, have been over the last, you know, sort of since the BBL started. So uh, they're definitely a force to be reckoned with. But you know, I, I think uh, the confidence side for us is quite high. Uh, we've been playing our own sort of brand, and you know, I think it's important that we just stick to doing that and uh, and make sure we come, you know, ready for a good scrap and uh, and enjoy the occasion. And your own form, in particular, you seem to be starting to warm up nicely. Um, a few uh, good scores in your last couple of knocks. Yeah, it's always nice to spend time in the middle. A, a little bit fortunate with a couple of chances, which uh, just sort of built some confidence. And um, yeah, I feel like I'm hitting the ball nicely and you know, sort of fitting into a role that the team needs me to play. So um, yeah, always, I'm always excited when I've spent a bit of time in the middle and definitely helps with the confidence.